Jank Odal moment. In the last part, we took on our champion rival, uh, in my case, Matt. Yeah, we beat him in a battle, and the credits rolled and everything, and I caught um, 68 Pokemon, or I own 68 Pokemon now. I think the m minimum you to get the National Dex is 60, so I, I guess I went, I just caught 68, I guess, just so I could have a little bit more than 60, but the minimum you need to have is 60 Pokemon owned to get the National Dex. Also, um, my Mian grew to, grew to level 62 off screen when I was trading, uh, like a Caterpie to raise it all the way to Butterfree, and same with a Weedle going all the way to Beedrill. So, yeah. And, uh, Giant Green is level 60, Airbender is level 60, Firefox is level 60, Stormman is level 61, uh, Triple Cuff is level 61, and my Mian is level 62. So, yeah. So, with, now with 60 or more Pokemon caught, or owned, let's go back to Professor Oak's lab, and I'm just gonna walk there, apparently, yeah. Okay, so if we talk to him, he'll say, Good to see you. How is your Pokedex coming along? Here, let me take a look. The amount of Pokemon, the amount of progress you've made on your Pokedex is 141 Pokemon seen and 68 Pokemon owned. Professor X rating, ha, ah, this is turning into the, quite the respectable Pokedex. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay. And now, oh, this is excellent. Ah, now this is excellent. Steven, I have another important favor to ask of you. I need you to listen closely. Recently, there have been sightings of many of our Pokemon species. I'm talking about people, pe Pokemon, not people, Pokemon that have never been seen in Kanto. I would love to go see things for myself, but I'm much too old. Since I can't do it, Steven, I'd like you to go in my place. Okay, and here's Matt. Uh, hey, I heard that. Grandpa, why are you favoring Steven over me all the time? I want to I want to collect more Pokemon and faster too. You should just let me handle everything. I know I know, of course I need your help too. Now I need to see both of your Pokedexes. Let's go okay, Professor I took both Pokedex units. Put them on the desk. And ah, that's done. Now these units can record data of a lot more Pokemon. We got the uh Steven's Pokedex was upgraded. Cool. Now Steven and Matt, this time you really must work towards filling your Pokedex. Is. I urge you to make them the best and the most complete of all time. That's not what's gonna happen, sorry Professor Oak, not for me. I guess Matt can take this one for sure. <laughs> Truly, this is uh, a monumental great undertaking in Pokemon history. Gramps, uh, Matt says, Gramps, calm down. Don't be, don't get so excited. I'll get the Pokedex completed. Don't you worry about a thing. I think I'll try looking around One Island first. Anyways, I'm out of here. So that's a little hunch to go out to One Island then. So let's do the same. We have to fly to Vimland City though, because that's where the dock is and the way we can get on the boat to one island. Let's, shoot, let's just fly to Vimland City. Yeah. So yeah, but if you look at your Pokedex, you can actually record. Yeah, see there's the national mode right here. Bulbasaur, and then this is all Kanto Pokemon right here. And should be going up further than that. It's not showing in that. Oh wait, we have we wait. We haven't seen a national dex worthy Pokemon yet. I am so dumb. Okay, so let's just go into the. It's like how? Wait, how are they not seeing like the Jodo Jodo Hoenn Pokemon in here? I haven't seen any of those, so it's not gonna show it. Okay. Ah, oh, you have a tri pass. Would you like to board this, sir? The board a so go up. Fairy, I guess. Let's go to One Ion first, yeah. Okay, everything's in order. See, see, gal, op, high speed seven will be departing immediately. And yeah, we're, we're going over to One Ion basically. Okay, so here's One Island. Okay. Let's just go in here, I guess. Let's talk to Celio. Um, Steven, how have things been for you? It, oh, that's right, you caught more Pokemon. Do you know what? Um, maybe I can be this. Maybe I can be. Maybe I can be useful to you. I'm modifying the network machine. Um, right now, I'm cha I'm changing it, it so it can handle trades over long distances. When I'm when I get finished, you'll be trading for exotic Pokemon from trainers far away. But there is a slight catch. For the link to work, the machine needs a special gemstone. It's supposed to be on one island, but I haven't found one yet. Who knows where it could be? Okay, so we're gonna just find that. It's obviously in my Ember because I played this game before, twice before my channel. So yeah, let's go on, surf on our Starman, our Starmie, and let's put a repel on. I don't think we have a repel on at all. Okay. 46 repels left still. Okay, cool. 
Okay. Just kind of run past here. Since that Pokemon, uh, since like for example, you Giant Green is six level sixty now. Can repel Pokemon from the level fifty nine and below, and all these Pokemon are not close to even fifty. So, well, they're kind of close to fifty, I guess. But you know, oh well. We have to go basically all the way to Mount Ember, which shouldn't take that long, especially with no Pokemon really being able to encounter. That will, no, no Pokemon will be seen really because the repels, it's repelled off by the repel, the max repel to be exact. So here we are in Mount Ember. Nice. Okay, so remember these two rocket grunts right there? Now they dug a hole or something, you know? Phew, punched through at last. Let's go treasure hunting. Any treasure we find will haul back to the warehouse, understood? Oh, and what are the passwords at the Team Rocket Warehouse? I mean, what? You forgot the password? There's actually two. The first one is Goldeen Need Log. And the second one is... Tell me the second one. Hey, this snoop has been listening in. Guess we have to battle him. We have to battle both of them, I believe. You've been eavesdropping, You've been eavesdropping on us, haven't you? Yes, I have. Okay, it's Team Rocket Grunt. Okay, yeah. He's gonna send out Cubone. Sorry for you, but I have a grass type of front, silly. So I get the type advantage. Let's go for the Razor Leaf. It hits. Awesome. Nice. There we go. Marowak next. Again, we're gonna go for the Razor Leaf again. This so Marowak's level 37. I think the Cubone was also level 37. I think both of them are male. So let's take it out. Yeah. Nice. Should we do micro gun? Huh, what? Thanks for the $11.84, man. Where, where'd you have, why'd you have to win? Heh. <laughs> Sorry, man. Trying to horn in on our treasure. Don't bet on it. Okay, fine. We'll battle then. We won't bet, we'll battle. And then it'll give me prize money for me winning. <laughs> he has four Pokemon. It's first Pokemon of Rata. Okay. I guess we'll go for the um, Razor Leaf again. It's level 35 male, but it goes down one hit. Awesome. Too aggressive. Let's use Radicate. Okay. Let's go for another Razor Leaf. This Radicate's level 35 male. Okay, cool. And it, when it kills it, nice. Cool. Sandshrew, okay. Pokemon that's actually weak to grass type moves. It's level 35 male. And Razor Leaf hits once again. Awesome. That's what I like to see. And the, the Sandshrew goes down one hit. Nice. And then finally, his fourth Pokemon is a Sand Slash. So again, we're going to use Razor Leaf because it's going to be super effective. It's level 35 male. That's good. But you're going to have to go down. There we go. Nice critical hit. Okay, good. And with that uh, giant green, good level 61, yay. If you team rocket grunt, cool. White, but how? Thanks for the love noise and 20 cents, man. Because I beat you in the Pokemon battle, obviously. I had, a, I had tougher Pokemon than you. Develop in nature conveniently and forget everything you've heard. With what a setback, we'll have to regroup. You don't even think about taking a step inside here. If you know what's good for you, don't even think about this. Okay. I think the last word in that dialogue was lit this. Although I kind of cooked a little too fast, so I'm not for sure. Let's put um, a bender up front, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So, I think I still have a repel that's still on, right? Or lingers, I mean, for my layer. Yeah, okay. So this is, um, I forgot to read what it is, actually. Let's go back out and go back in it. Okay, yeah. This is still Mount Ember, actually. Dang it, okay. Cool. I think the only move, the only HM we'll need to get through, to get through here is strength. So, yeah. Oh, my Poe off. Let's put another Poe on then. Cool. Okay, let's move this boulder with strength two to the right. Okay, there we go. And we want to move this one over to the right one. And up this one, and that one up one. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we're deeper into it. So yeah, let's put let's use strength again. Once to put once to the right and then once down. That should make it easier. 
And if you mess up, you can just go down, up, and down the ladder, and at least the boulders. If we go down here, we can get an item or something. Just have to move to the right, or left a little bit, like a lot, actually. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is actually where we find the ruby. Nice, which is the, one of the gemstones of two that we need. Okay, we found a, a ruby. Nice. Put the, we put the rubies in the camera's pocket. I don't know what this braille says, so I don't know. It says something. It probably says something about the ruby being like a treasure here. That's my guess. So yeah, we went the right way on on accident actually, because I want to go the wrong way to get the item first. So let's move this boulder again to the right this time. Move it out of the way. 